Steve Mignani here for Ascender Auctioneers Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction Event with item number 260, a 1957 Dodge Lancer Custom Royal. Now these cars were the very first of the uh, Suddenly It's 1960 Virgil Exner forward look. Love the headlamps here with the uh, single lights. Again, these are driving lights, 1957. Uh, dual lights were not fully approved by all states. 58, they'd go dual, but it sure looks like quad lamps. Front bumper is beautiful. What a massive, beautiful design that is. A small dent here, but otherwise in fantastic condition. Let's pop the hood and see what we have. And by the dual hood ornaments with these deltoid fins coming off the side, what a work of art that is. Okay, open this up. And Okay, no engine presently. This would have had a polyspherical V8. We can see the remnants of the exhaust manifolds are there. Dual exhaust apparently, big old automatic, probably the uh, two-speed power flight. Um, looks like we have manual drum brakes, power steering reservoir present and accounted for, power steering box, but again, that firewall is in fantastic condition. No holes, no obvious corrosion other than minor surface rust. This was a factory air conditioning car. We can see the remnants of the uh, condenser and the various uh, items there. Let's go around to the fender. Fender top is nice. No holes, no perforations. This often is full of holes here on an Eastern car. Fenders are very, very solid. This is the original gold and white paint. The original Lancer hubcaps in place on the 14 inch rims. Down low here, no rust at all. Look at that, what a wonderful preservation. The rocker panels look really good. That orange stuff right there, that's that's not, that's not rust. That's a tiny little spot, all metal here, magnet sticks. The door is very, very nice. There's no signs of corrosion. Check the corner always, the magnet sticks beautifully. That's great. Let's pop the door and see if we can go inside. Nice. Okay, inside the seats are not present, uh, but the floor is pretty darn good. We can see a little bit of rust here. And again, this is where uh, the carpet would have allowed the rust, or the, the you know, condensation. Here are the buttons for that uh, Torque Flight automatic transmission right here. Uh, the dashboard is not here, but maybe in the trunk, not sure. Um, but this is the first year for torsion bars, 1957. The floor in this, again, very, very nice. Continuing our look on the quarter panels down here. That is primer, but it does not hide bodywork. Let's see here. Yeah, the magnet sticks, beautiful. Very, very nice. All through here, all metal, beautiful. The wheel lip, beautiful, not dented. And again, that's all metal. There's no plastic in this. Down low in the quarter panel, small holes. Yeah, that's a bubble waiting to happen a couple years from now, that will blossom. But in the meantime, that is very, very solid. Good stuff. Here's the beautiful Virgil Exner fins, 1957. Around the back, see the deck lid is very nice. Don't see the tail lights or the trim. Um, let's see if we can open the trunk. Maybe they're inside. Uh, okay, well, no trim inside. It may be supplied, not sure, but at this point in time, what we see is what we get, I assume. Uh, the trunk floor, pretty good, not too bad. A little bit of perforation there, but as these things usually go, this is in fantastic condition. Let's go around to the passenger side down low. Okay, on this side, we do see some plastic filler cracking and peeling. I'm going to say this is probably a minor accident that was uh, puttied up. Yeah, and it, whatever this plastic filler is, it's not that thick. The magnet sticks to it, so it's not too bad. You know, that's not bad at all, really. <coughs> that's great. Okay, here, yeah, we can see the, the filler is yeah, right there. It wants to peel off. But with that said, the wheel lip is nice. Let's see if this sticks. It should. Yeah, very nice, right through here. That's fantastic. Moving along, down low here. The magnet sticks, beautiful. That's great, good stuff. Let's open this door and see if we can look inside again. Yep, there we go. And again, the floor is present. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's a nice floor. And keep in mind, this is uh, still a body on frame construction full frame until 1960 when they went unitized. Uh, but let's close this door up and down low here where you would expect to see rust, nothing. The rocker panel down low, also very solid, wonderful. Bottom of the front fender, metal, beautiful. 
Yeah, really, really, really nice. And again, the original gold and white paint on this fender. What a wonderfully preserved 1957 Dodge Lancer Custom Royal. That's the story of this item number 260. No engine, uh, transmission is there, but what a great car to start out with as a restoration or a hot rod. What you do with it is up to you. Bid away.